A lot of the people here I've known since I was born. <laughs> Family has always been part of the story at Mama Maria in Boston's North End. My well, mother's name is Mary, that's where we got the name from. <laughs> I, had to, I had to italicize it, italianize it. John McGee bought the restaurant in 1988 after working there for a handful of years. He made the row house on North Square a destination for fine dining. John's daughter, Phoebe McGee. I knew that I wanted to be working here. Um, that was always my end goal. That moment came much sooner than anyone expected or wanted. John ran Mama Maria until his untimely death from cancer in 2020. After, Phoebe, her sister Zoe, and their mother Layla decided to keep the restaurant, with Phoebe stepping into the role of manager. It was just my dad's baby. He put passion into every little detail, so I thought if we just gave up on it, with everyone here, that would be a tragedy to me. Couple new additions. But sometimes family is more than blood. They know exactly how to like put in a lesson from my dad, but also respect me for being me and like teach me how to grow in that way as well. She's working with and learning from veteran members of the Mama Maria team. Manager Mohammed Ben Mir has been here for decades. This place is a family. They work so hard, all of us. It's not only me. We cannot build this place with one person. It has to be team, and we are a team. Working in a restaurant, it's like uh, being home. The sort of fish, that is like a capered pasta with a putanesca sauce. Chef Julio Hernandez rose from dishwasher to head chef. He's crafting the iconic dishes Mama Maria is known for, including the osobuco and adding his own mark. This is the best place to have learned because everyone really does care. Family, culture, and the natural world, they all come together for Sam Nepali when he plays music. Nepali's instrument is the sarangi, a traditional stringed instrument used throughout South Asia. It's a piece of one piece of wood, and it have a four string as in a violin, played especially with your nail, touching at the edge of strings. Nepali came to the U.S. in 2014, first living in Boston and later moving to Manchester, New Hampshire. He learned music and the sarangi from his father and grandfather in his native Nepal. We have been keeping this music for more than 15 or so. His grandfather, Magar Kazanapali, created and played music at a time when it had a dual purpose, entertainment and information. When there was no television, there was no news. The musicians who play instrument, they were known as a messenger. He was the one who had bring his music to the village. Nepali was just five when he started playing alongside his grandfather. I used to hold a small sarangi. My grandpa used to hold a big sarangi. I used to start to laugh because he said, oh, it looked like exactly me and you. <laughs> sunny, sunny. Nepali's father, Ram Saran Nepali, was an accomplished sarangi player as well. Nepali still carries his father's appreciation for the natural world. So he wanted to always play music from the nature. I think that's the gene I have, so. <laughs> he was playing a concert for a mountain, and I was saying, why for a mountain? He said, the nature have given in us so much, and we need to give back. Now he's passing the music on to a new generation. Both of his sons are performers. In 2018, he received a teaching artist grant from the Massachusetts Cultural Council. Sometimes I feel um, the keeper of tradition, you know, if we forget all the roots, then we forget ourselves. And Nepali believes in the healing power of music. Mm -hmm. He practices sound healing that he learned in Kathmandu. And back to Mama Maria, uh, Phoebe McGee says the restaurant continues to pride itself, as it has for many years, on its all Italian wine list. I love that. All right. Up next, the father-son duo goes with the grain.